Hi everyone, welcome to Best Recapped Movie. Today we want to speak about movie that called District B13. The story is about an area called District B13, which is run by criminals and mafia. But DISS intelligence officers try to infiltrate there and defeat the criminals. This video contains spoiler. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The film begins by showing the harsh life in District 13, an area where different groups of gangsters of different races live. The story takes place in Paris in 2010. Two guards are cooking when K2, the leader of another gang, arrives. He wants to meet Leto. Leto stole the bag containing drugs from K2. K2 kills the guards with a surprise move and enters the building. Many people of him arrive to help him capture Leto. Meanwhile, Leto begins to destroy the drugs in the bathtub. Two other guards are watching TV, and K2 shoots one of them and takes Leto's room number. Leto finds out about the incident and quickly finishes his work. K2 notices that the doors don't have numbers, so he asks his men to search all the rooms. Leto leaves the room when one of K2's men shoots at him. K2 warns that he needs Leto alive. Leto breaks the door and runs away. He is very professional in parkour, and it easily leaves the building and enters the roof. K2 realizes that Leto destroyed the drugs. As Leto escapes, he defeats K2 people one after another. Finally, he manages to escape. Later, we see Taha Bemamud, the leader of the group, who is questioning K2 and his men. He asks how they failed to catch the person who stole 20 kilograms of heroin from him. K2 explains that he was very fast. Then he starts killing some of them. K2 quickly comes up with an idea. He says that Leto's sister works in a store, so by arresting her sister, they can trap Leto. Leto's sister Lola works in a store. K2 arrests her and takes her to Taha. They enter the Taha area, which has a high level of security. Taha's people sexually assault Lola, and one of them asks Lola for her panty. But Lola punches him in the face. Taha tells one of his men to inform Leto about his sister's arrest. At this moment Leto enters Taha's room through the window. While putting a knife to Taha's neck, Leto explains that he knows Taha's thoughts and is always one step ahead of him. Then Leto takes Taha hostage and they leave the place with Lola. Taha orders no one to shoot them. On the way, Lola puts her panties in the mouth of the person who assaulted her. They get into a bulletproof car to escape the area. They go to the police headquarters to hand over Taha to the police. The commissioner is horrified to see Taha and asks Leto to release him because there is no evidence against him. Leto shows him a bag containing heroin as evidence. At this moment, one of the policemen informs the commissar that the number of Taha people is three times more. So the commissar orders the arrest of Leto and Lola and releases Taha. Leto gets angry and tells him that he is responsible for the security of this area. But the commissar explains that this area is separated from the city by barbed wire and Taha's people run there and cannot be controlled. Commissar says that prison is the right place for Leto, because it protects his life from Taha's people. Taha threatens the commissar to let him take Lola with him. Commissar agrees, while Leto becomes furious. Commissar explains that he has no choice, he will retire in a few weeks and he just wants to finish this job. But Leto kills him in a quick reaction. Six months later, we see a gang leader named Carlos Montaya arguing with two of his men. He is angry with his people for being unprofessional and is looking for better people. They enter a secret casino where drugs are being traded. Sami finds out through the CCTV cameras that the police have noticed their actions and are planning to arrest them. Sami accuses Carlos of spying for the police. So Carlos kills one of his men to show that he is not a spy. At this moment, Damien Tommaso from the criminal police reveals his identity and asks Carlos and others to surrender. Damien asks other people to leave the room and takes Carlos hostage. Special forces create a hole in the ceiling. Damien pulls Carlos out through the hole. Sami and other people start shooting in the room. As Damien tries to escape the hole with a rope, Sami and his men enter and start shooting inside the hole. But Damien is hidden in the room. They fight each other. Two gun magazines are sent to Damien. Damien quickly takes the magazine and kills Sami. He leaves the room and after fighting with other criminals, he manages to defeat them and leaves the place. After that, Damien is hired by Defense Minister Kruger and his assistant Cursini for a special mission. Kruger explains that Taha's men have stolen a special weapon. 
This weapon is an atomic weapon that can explode up to a radius of 8 kilometers and if someone tampers with it, it will explode automatically 24 hours later. The bomb was in a truck that Taha people stole after blowing up the truck. They have located the truck with the help of GPS, so they ask Damien to go there and retrieve the weapon. Damien rejects the mission because he does not know the details of the work. But they order that the Damien must do it, because the lives of 2 million people are in danger. And a colleague has been considered for him who knows the area well, but he has to release him from prison. So Leto is ordered to be transferred to another prison. At the same time, we see Damien being tortured by the agents and placed next to Leto to be transferred to prison. Damien frees himself with a needle and tells a false story about the death of his father and brother by Taha. He tells Leto that he wants to avenge the death of his father and brother. Then he talks about Lola who is always with Taha and is bothered by him. After hearing these words, Leto decides to accompany Damien to save Lola. Damien throws the officers out of the car and they go to District 13 in a police truck. Leto doesn't trust Damien, so he puts a handcuff on him and threatens him to go the way he says. At the same time, the intelligence forces are following up the process of the mission. Damien is forced to pass the police checkpoint without stopping, and the car gets a flat tire. Leto says that he knows that Damien is the police and he is not interested in cooperating with the police. The brake doesn't work and Damien hits a car to stop. So he leaves Damien alone and goes to save Lola himself. While Damien is trying to open the handcuffs, some thugs attack him. Damien defeats them and runs away. K2 informs Taha of Leto's escape. So Taha orders them to prepare to face Leto. Damien arrests Leto again. Damien explains about the bomb to Leto. So this time Leto really agrees to cooperate with Damien. So they make a plan. Leto calls Taha and talks about the police he wants to deal with. So they date each other. K2 arrives and they go to Taha together. On the way, they find the police truck that Kruger claimed was blown up intact. Damien explains that the bomb will explode soon and he wants to defuse it. Taha answers that if he wants to neutralize the bomb, he must buy it first. So he starts an auction with the help of K2 and raises the price to 20 million euros. Before transferring the money, Damien asks to see the bomb. Taha connected the bomb to a rocket and aimed at the Eiffel Tower. Leto realizes that the hinge is also connected to the bomb. Taha tells Leto that he is now one step ahead of him. Damien calls Kruger to transfer the money. Kruger takes the bank account number but then says that they don't have enough funds and will find another way. Damien pretends that Kruger agreed. They are waiting for the payment request. Leto is suspicious of what happened, because he does not believe that the Ministry of Defense is not willing to pay such money. They make a plan to escape. So while going to Taha, they run away on the way. They enter the toilet and enter a tunnel from there. Taha kills one of his men as punishment after he finds out about their escape. Then they inform him that the money has not been deposited into his account and all his other accounts have been blocked with the help of the account number. When Taha's people find out that he has no more money, they kill him for the murder of their colleague. From this moment on, K2 becomes the leader of the group. They go to arrest Leto and Damien. At the same time, Lola finds a gallon of gasoline near her, so she opens the gallon door and spills the gasoline on the floor. On the other hand, Leto and Damien are separated from each other so that they can escape. Damien steals a car and manages to escape. They arrive at the bomb place, but K2 and his people are lurking there and are blocking their way. K2 allows them to defuse the bomb, but on the way, a giant thug that Taha has already placed there blocks their way. Damien tries to defeat him, but he is too powerful. Leto, realizing that he is invincible, finds a rope and uses it to bind all his body parts. Then Damien breaks a concrete wall on his head and they manage to defeat him. At the last moment, while Lola is trying to set fire there with a matchstick, Leto arrives and saves her. Damien calls to get the code to defuse the bomb, with only three minutes left. Leto realizes that the code for the bomb is the coordinates of District 13. He warns Damien that this bomb is designed to destroy District 13. He warns that if he enters the code, the bomb will be activated. Damien disagrees, so he gets into a fight with Leto. After exchanging a few punches, Damien says to let him defuse the bomb. But Leto reminds him that they lied to him about blowing up the truck and that it was a plan to destroy District 13. Damien still does not accept and they enter the battle again. 
Damien approaches the bomb to enter the last number. Lola intervenes and does not allow this. Time runs out, but the bomb doesn't explode. They leave the place with the bomb. Kruger and Cursini are surprised that the bomb didn't explode. According to the previous agreement, K2 allows them to leave. Leto and Damien enter with the bomb. Kruger explains that this was the best solution to destroy District 13. We then find out that Damien has a voice recorder with him and a reporter outside is filming their conversation. Their conversation is published in the news and Kruger is scandalized. Lido and Lola return to District 13, while Damien explains that the government wants to remove the wall around the area and reopen the schools there. And here the story ends. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.